Hello guys, today I'm gonna focus a little bit more on search on my phone. I'm gonna use separate plugins inside Tasker. Uh, those plugins are Auto Voice, Auto Share and Auto Launch. So, first of all I'm gonna show you some examples what I can do with my phone in search. So let's try that. Search for voicemail in my contacts. As you see, my phone will search for voicemail in my contacts. That's the first example. The second example I'm gonna show you is Search for Terminator on IMDB. And as you see, IMDB is now opened and it automatically search for Terminator. That's nice. Search for Michael Jackson on YouTube. And my phone will also open YouTube and search for Michael Jackson. Search for images of Android. And you will see Chrome is opened and it will search for images of Androids. So that's what it is and let's try another thing for example the Google Now you heard about that Google what's the time in New York as you see Google Now will open and show me a card with the time of New York and I also can use other commands, for example, play Nightwish. And you will see my phone will open Power Amp and search for Nightwish. And um, here you will see my phone can play that song. So those are some examples of my search on my phone. So how can I enable that and how can I make that? I'm gonna show you how I did it. So let's open Tasker. I'm gonna open Tasker here and let's see what I'm doing here. So the first thing you see uh, five profiles and also uh, five tasks so I'm gonna use intents uh, inside my tasker um, by auto share and also I'm using auto voice about auto voice I made several tutorials so if you don't know how to use that check my other tutorials as well so the first thing is search images search images is here the uh, task and I am using only one action and that is auto share so first of all you need to know how auto share works auto share is a plugin where you can share information from device to other devices and get some information from uh, packages etc etc also you can share by apps of course so what I'm doing here let's open that package and you see here come Android point Chrome the package is which favorite application I want to open that and you see also here Google images 
uh, is the action and the dot, uh, data is and the data is HTTPS and then my URL and you see also here at the last I'm using here a variable so when I speak to my phone it will store it will store it in the uh, variable images and then I'm going to use that and it will search for it. The first thing is uh, working with intents on AutoShare. So let's open AutoShare. I'm going to close that and let's open the apps and we're going to use AutoShare here. AutoShare. And you will see here in AutoShare Manage Intents. When you click on that, normally you will find only uh, search and play maybe and all the rest you see here I'm created that for myself also I imported some from um, the auto share intense page so the, I'm using Google images and the Google images is an intent where I see by set action set action is android point intent point action point view be sure that's the right way to type this if you make any mistakes in writing it won't work so let's get back and also when i long click on that you will see here uh, sets data and when I click on data you see here the link what I'm using for searching immediately for images I know you can search on the web for uh, something but here I'm using a code for searching immediately for images that's the code and that's all you have to do so when I go back to tasker Tasker. I added something else. So when I open the configuration here, click on the button and you will see here action. Action, you choose Google Images. That's you have defined it in AutoShare. So I'm going to cancel that. And all the rest will also be filled in. So one thing you have to do is choose your favorite browser and the Android package that comes with it. So the Android package here will be here com.android.chrome. That's the package of my application. So I'm going to close that. So that's my first action in the task search images so when I open the context it's just an auto voice recognized events when I click on that you will see here also several things uh, I'm using rejects and I'm gonna use the code for my commands even uh, even behavior is on of course and the command filter is uh, search for images of and then I use uh, a variable images that I use that also in my auto share task so this is how I created the first one search for images let's go back And let's see the second one. The second one is something like this. I have search for and I use also a variable context in my context. That's my sentence. And also I'm using rejects. So and I have also a task, a search context, and I'm using again auto share. Let's open that and you will see here something very easy. I'm using the com 
Android point uh, uh, contacts and I'm using the action search the action search is standard um, available when you install AutoShare and I'm using also a query variable contacts that's all you have to do so that's quite easy the third one is search in apps search in apps is a little bit more difficult I found this tutorial from the maker of AutoShare so I thought by myself so let's share that also I'm here I'm gonna open that and in search in apps you will see here an auto voice recognized event everything is opened by auto voice so you see here search for then we use a query that's uh, what we are looking for and then on the app and we use rejects so we have two variables one is query the second is app that's we gonna use later on so that's our auto voice recognized let's go back and we are gonna use the search app task the search app task is an auto launch query so when you click on plus and then plugins you can find auto launch query if you have installed of course auto, uh, auto launch so when you open auto launch query there's something that you need to configure and that's app nickname and contain all apps and nickname is true so let's open that so the first thing you need to do is scroll down and you find here package uh, I'm sorry you find here app nickname and here in app nickname you will put the variable app gonna cancel that and when you go down you will also check contain all app nicknames so if you have uh, defined a nickname to some apps it will also recognized so that's auto large query then we use a flash a flash uh, just for knowing that we are uh, searching and uh, let's see what we are searching on our screen so we are searching for a query the variable query on all labels one the first one when, so when you saw my uh, profile I have toasted all my commands and it will look for the first command and that's that so let's go back and then the last thing is auto share so the auto share is a package and we use package all package the first one and we use the search and we use also the variable query so let's open that you will see here on action is search gonna cancel that and the package here Android package will be the variable all packages one and cancel that also and you will see here at the bottom query query is the variable query so that's how you do that and that's all you have to do for make this task so let's get back and then we see the Google Now. The Google Now is just an easy one. It's auto voice recognized event, of course. And we use Google and then I made a question. For example, oh tall is Barack Obama. And you we use also rejects. That's quite easy. And let's go back and on the Google Now task, you will see here Auto Share Configuration Action Google Now Search. So, this one, I'm gonna open that and we're gonna use the Action Google Now Search and the search term is the variable question. 
So when I look to my auto share, you will see here Google Now Search. You can import intents from the website and I'm gonna put the link also inside the post. So how can you import intents? Just by clicking here, that button, and you can import a file or import contents. Mostly I import a file. When you have imported a file, you can edit that and you can export it again. So for example, I have a YouTube intent, I have a created note, Evernote intent, uh, I have Shazamit and Google Images. So the Google Images, I've made it by myself, Shazam, you can download that. It's also very easy when I use this one and trigger that action, it will automatically uh, record and check for the song and the author of the song. So that's quite easy. So this is how you work with intents, how you can import and edit intents. So let's go back to Tasker and Tasker, Tasker, and let's go back. And then we have also one other thing and we use play music, play a search music uh, is this one. If you go to the community of the maker of auto voice, uh, auto uh, share and auto launch, etc., you can you will also find an intent for play and search music. So you can use all access Google Music, etc. So you use auto voice recognized event, and the auto voice recognized event is play and then. A variable song. So let's go back and the action of play song is auto share and the package I've set here a package is the com max mpz point audio player is the package for my power app. So search and we use the action search and play and the query is the song. That's quite easy, so let's open that. So the Android package will be com.maxmpz.audio player. I'm gonna cancel that. The, the action will be search and play. Cancel that also. And here at the bottom, you will find query. And that's the song. So that's how I use my search on my phone. Of course, I have also other profiles for searching on my phone. I hope you can use those one I told here in my uh, tutorial. The thing I'm using the most is search in apps. And you can uh, use any app you like. I'm using often IMDB, so I'm using that also. Uh, watching movies, uh, getting data from IMDB, also uh, searching for images is also very handy. Searching in my context is also very handy, and searching on YouTube, my auto voice. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's a little long tutorial. So um, if you have any questions, leave that on my Google page and I will see you later. Goodbye.